everyone, this is Katie, and today I'm going to show you how to use the TED Ed app, which is the education initiative from TED Talk. So to get to the app, it's pretty simple. Um, you should just Google TED Ed, um, and it should take you right to the app that we're going to show you, so right there. Um, an easier way for me to do it was just to bookmark the page, and then I can just get to the website right there. Now, as a beginner, um, you want to start with educators start here and then your students can start with students right here um, I've already logged in all you need is an email and a password to log in and then they just grab some information from you like what subjects you teach and what age group you teach and that will help them filter the video for you so I've already logged in um, and if you look at my settings right here you can see I'm an educator I teach science and technology I'm also interested in thinking and learning and I teach middle school nice schoolers. And if you ever need to edit that, you can always go here um, and edit that and look at all the other subjects in grade. Um, to start, we're going to go over here to Discover Lessons. And while we're in the, la in the app, it's super user-friendly, super easy to get around, which is one of the biggest reasons why I like it. Um, as you can see here, TED Ed has a bunch of animation videos for students of all subjects. Um, there's a bunch of bigger subjects here, and then if you click on one of them, there's a bunch of sub-subjects here as well. Um, so you can just click on any of them that you like, find the video that's pertinent to what you want to teach, and then my favorite part is that there's a lesson within each of these videos. Another cool feature of TED Ed is that you can create your own lesson. So I've actually created my own lesson that I want to share with all of you today, and that is right here. Um, so it's really easy, you can just pick any YouTube video online, or you can use the TED Ed animation video to create your own. And what it looks like is it ends up looking like this. So I was doing a lesson on Rosalind Franklin, and I wanted the students to watch a little video about her, answer some questions, dig a little bit deeper, and then discuss. So the way that it works is that you just pick out a video, the students will be able to watch the video, which I think is one of the most important resources right here is just the video itself. I am an audio and visual learner, so videos really help me learn. But also, having captions helps me learn as well. Um, another cool thing I like about videos is that if you get confused or you get stuck, you can just rewind and it'll take you right back and you can just rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. Um, some other cool features about this video is that you can change the playback speed, so you can speed it up if you want or you can slow it down if you need to. Um, and then, of course, the subtitles. This video in particular has a bunch of different languages that you can use for your subtitles. This is such a great resource for our English language learners. Um, so if you just click the caption and you go over here, let's say you have a student who speaks Arabic. Boom, change it to Arabic. It'll be playing in English audio, but then the captions will be in Arabic. Um, so I think that is one of the best features of the TED Ed. Afterwards, um, after they watch the video, what they can do is that you can make a little lesson so they can go to the think part. The think part, you can make your own um, little check for understanding, uh, multiple choice questions, and short answer questions. Um, one thing that I really like about this feature is that it really works on mastery. So let's say you didn't get the question right, you can try it again, or you can get a video hint. So if you click the video hint, it'll timestamp where... Well, you'll have to time, you can timestamp where the answer is found in the video. So they don't have to watch the whole entire video. They can just watch where that piece is. Um, and if they want to try it again, then they can try it again, save answer, correct, move on to the next question, um, which I think is really cool. So it doesn't waste a lot of time. They don't have to rewatch the whole video, and they can just get the little piece that they need, the little piece that you wanted them to get. The next part is the dig deeper. Um, I feel like this is another cool piece of the differentiation because students who might be a little bit faster than other students can go into the dig deeper. Um, another cool thing about this is this is really great for literacy and you can embed different links into the dig deeper so students are able to do their own research. Um, so for example, if they want to look at Photo 51, they just click that, open it up, and boom, there'll be Photo 51. Okay. Um, and then last thing first, last things last, oh, I'm getting a lot of notifications. Discuss, you can have a little open discussion, which is great for students to engage in their learning as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.